Okay, folks, so the uh, guys over at OpenIV have released a update for their OpenIV um, program, and this has a lot of new features in here that are very useful. Um, so I'm just going to run through the setup, and I'll explain those features as we're using it. Um, it is important to always stay up to date in terms of your Grand Theft Auto files and the any of the mods that you've downloaded. So, links in the description to download it. Go ahead, open it up, run it. Go through the necessary requirements. Uh, create a desktop item icon, and yeah. Okay, next. Okay, it's just going to download this 11.4 megabyte file that it does pretty much every time. Okay, so once it's downloaded, same as before, same as most things when you install programs, just follow it through. Okay, so anytime you run OpenIV, um, and it looks like it's going to do it automatically now, uh, you should run it in uh, administrator mode. So you can change that in the properties. If you go to, uh, where has it gone? Compatibility. Uh, run this program as an administrator. Uh, that way, it, ha it can gain access to the Grand Theft Auto files in your uh, Windows folder. So, browse for the location of our GTA installation. There we go. It's found it. Continue. So one of the big features in this update is <coughs> that it allows you to make mods um, using backup files so I'll try and explain that via a demonstration so obviously this is the program you should be all familiar with um, in fact I'll explain one of the first additions it's in tools and you go down to ASI manager it will tell you what plugins you have so here you can see I've got the ASI, ASI loader installed and I can uninstall it from here and this time around there is a new ASI required called OpenIV so I can update it uh, straight from here and boom there we go you don't have to go in fiddling with folders or anything like that it's done all for you very nice uh, user interface for that <coughs> so the newest feature as I explained with the mods if you go to your uh, if you go to your Grand Theft Auto folder here, and if you don't know if we can do it here now, let's see if we can. Uh, no, it doesn't appear we can file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it manually through Windows. So what you need to do is install a um, folder in the directory so in here I'm going to do new folder and it's just going to be called mods in lowercase letters okay and now what this basically means is anything you want to modify in GTA um, so say for example let's try and find something we can modify so uh, don't see this message again um, where's the models folder there we go models Let's just see what's in here. Weapons is obviously a good place to start. So if you wanted to modify any of these weapons, um, what you would do is copy over the RPF, so X64E here, copy that RPF file and put it into the mods file. Now it doesn't appear up here, you might have to reload the program. Um, but basically what you need to do is apply those mods. So I'll just reopen this. Okay. So here you can see we've got a folder mods here. Uh, if I wanted to make any changes to the Commander RPF or any of these RPFs down here, you would just copy that RPF file, fol um, file into this new mods folder. The basis prevents you from making any edits to the original files. Um, and what the ASI, so we go to Tools, ASI Manager, what this openiv.asi 
I'm assuming here at this point is going to do is use this folder for the RPFs so say you made a modification to like I said before x64 e RPF you copied into mods in here and then you made the mods to that RPF file um, next time you run GTA this is the RPF file that will be used for the game's content it will ignore the original one down here and then obviously if you make any mistakes or errors or you you know you corrupt, corrupt your game saves files whatever if you do anything you can just delete that from there and you've got the original already saved in the uh, GTA uh, folder so it's a very big feature obviously preventing people from making a lot of mistakes corrupting the game files and having to reinstall the entire 60 gigabytes again which is a complete pain in the arse so very very useful feature and this program just seems to keep getting better and better so download the links in the description go ahead download it and have fun